All right, guys, I want to expand on a little something that was in the podcast today. And if you didn't watch the Me and Ryan Bowen Overcome Overpower podcast, then shame on you. Because, man, what a way the world spins when you have a dynamic and a history like we had. And there was like just a feud, but growth, stoicism, high roading, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I mean, it just works. Ryan's always been good at articulating his thoughts. I feel like I do a good job of conveying mine. Different approaches from different worlds, different backgrounds. Hey, man, it's popping off pretty good, and it seems to flow pretty good for, you know, we run out of time, basically. We always have the so far plenty to talk about and to expand on. But what I did want to touch on, and this is for some of you guys locally, even from abroad, I just want a general consensus because I think it could be a thing of beauty. Which is taking back a little bit of the power. Now, don't get this twisted. Hyper thankful and hyper appreciative for uh, all the promoters and the people out there doing things. I just think there can't be enough production. And I also don't like to put too much power in someone's hands. Um, as well as the timeline. I'm, o I'm open to me and Ryan Bowen pulling at promotions. We just haven't really been hit with something that suits his needs or my timeline, or location, or, you know, it just doesn't check all the boxes. And frankly, for me, arm wrestling has been really fun the past few months, and I would like to something to just check the boxes of fun, monies, and kind of running it the way we want to. And we touched on it on the show, and I like the idea of him coming to my camp, and because it's me and Bowen, man, you know, him with his fucking wrist, which the measurements are in, we're going to get real measurements. I think his measurement was a little sus. But I'm just going to say, it's an illusion. My wrist looks smaller because my hand's so wide. And his looks bigger because his fucking forearm is... Look at that fucking thing. It looks like... My forearm looks like I was an anaconda and swallowed Ryan Bowen's forearm. Anyways. If he came to the camp resort... I'm going to put him through the paces. I'm going to find the Sebago Olympics. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't care if it's karaoke. We can vote on that shit. We can vote on actual things of athleticism, camp games, uh, adulty type drinking shit. Whatever it is. The whole gauntlet. And then at the end, I like how I kind of put the spit on there. Depending on the margin the other person wins by, you can kind of play the rules in your favor a little bit. And I don't care if we do a best of 50. And then we'll bring some guys in and have an undercard where it will be, we got some great local guys. I got two arm wrestlers at my camp um, that I train with and, you know, they're they're within like arm's reach and they're good. And then also um, in the area, there's lots of arm wrestlers and uh, we can make a good undercard if we want to bring people in for some local matches. Hell, if somebody with a little bit of coin wanted to fly in and have a VIP weekend and, you know, I'm a... Uh, Probably going to barbecue it, DJ it, light it, make it some fun if we do it like that. And then what we do is we get like a week's worth. Think about when like Juju Mufu came out and trained with Devin. They did all that crazy shit, dumb shit together. They did grip strength and blaster ball and fucking rock climbing and weightlifting and <coughs> Devin trying to do squats. It would be like our version of that, a lot more casual. Like the structure of the tournaments. I understand people have a, a timeline, keep things moving, promotions. But what if things happened a little more organically, a little more natural, a little more scenic? And uh, you get to really get a feel for the people involved, a feel for the vibe, a feel for us, the chemistry, as well as I am a competitive person. I will fight somebody over Monopoly. I've actually almost had my family broken apart over Monopoly. Now, for all you guys, if that rings home, if you like Monopoly... Do not play the Monopoly Cheaters Edition. Because let me tell you something. My whole family is a bunch of con artists and hustlers. Especially Gabriella. And especially the ones who I think are close and loyal to me. Like Isabel. She's the first one to try to dime me out when she catches me in a cheat. That gets me all fucked up. And Gabriella is a sneaky little creature of opportunity. And let me tell you something. The first time we played this game, we were at a beautiful mountaintop resort and enjoying ourselves. And the whole family was sitting in different rooms and corners, hating each other. That's how we roll. We're a competitive family. So there is nothing that I won't take 110% serious. I think it could be hilarious as well as fun. And as a very casual environment. 
and we'll make it a cheap pay-per-view. I don't know what a good pay-per-view is. Uh, Ten bucks? Five bucks? I'll do a dollar if I can get enough people to roll in and just cover for Ryan Bowen's expenses. So all we're really worried about at this point in time is if we can get Ryan Bowen to come here expenses free so we can pop off a new concept. And it's a beautiful thing to put some of the power back in the puller's hands. I'm not trying to take away from East, West, Arm Gods, Knuckles Up. I'm open to doing this match at King of the Table anywhere. But also it's nice to know to, that you have options and you can arm wrestle anywhere. It's a reminder that this is where it started, grassroots. If you're at a machine shop and you heard the other guy down the other end of the fucking building has strong wrists because he runs tin snips all day or, you know, swings a hammer all day and you want to knuckle up on a, you know, lunch table, you don't really need a venue to host you and a referee and you can really get a good vibe and something can get exciting popping off. So what do you guys think about that? What if I threw a little VIP thing? Hey, if anybody wanted to come in because they were curious... It's a resort. It's not a campground. We're not sitting in lean-tos and tents and, you know, sitting around doing kumbaya and shit like that. People got, like, actual cabins and I got a, you know, six-seater golf cart that I pimp around in that you can off-road with. And there's water parks and bands and everything. It's pretty fucking slick. So, uh, yeah, let's get that shit cracking, man. Let's think about that because really right now I'm, like, all go because it's easy on my end. Ryan Bowen's the apprehensive one. <clears throat> I think it's a I think it's a fun match. Now, what I can do with him and what I can't, that's for us to unfold. But we're gonna have a lot of fun dismantling it and doing the Olympics. Yeah. He comes out with his wife. We could make some couples games. <coughs> I don't know if she likes to compete, but we'll drag her into it. I'm very persuasive. So what do you guys think? Also, you know, uh, have some other events on the, yeah, I'm looking at, <coughs> holy shit, I got a scratch in my throat. I'm thinking about maybe Arm Gods in Wales. Uh, I've been talking about that one. Maybe King of the Table, talking about that one too. Uh, event in Canada in September. But there's a lot of things that are maybes. But what you gotta know is I'm fucking active. Oh, I feel so juicy today. I don't know if it's the shirt, but I'm telling you what. Let me know what you think. Would you guys want something like that pop off? Organic. Where it's a lot of like fun content. It's not the same old bullshit. Not the same old stiffness. No offense guys. But sometimes a little change is good. You know you can only dress up in a suit and tie so much. And then you need to put on some joggers and a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Kick back. Relax a little bit. Fuck it. 